Hello and welcome to the second video in a series of videos taking a look at Sokotoa. Here we're looking at finding angles using um, Sokotoa. Sokotoa are just our trigonometric ratios which help us to find missing angles or sides on right angled triangles. Here I have a triangle uh, with a side of 10, another side of 6, a side that we don't know and a missing angle, an angle that we're looking to find out the value for. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to label up my triangle. So the side that is opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse. The side that is touching the angle is my adjacent. The side that is opposite where the angle is is my opposite. So based on the things that I've got, <coughs> I need to use one of these uh, three ratios. So I'm not going to use SO because I haven't got the O, uh, but I am going to use CA because I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Um, so I'm looking for this angle here. So what I can say is that if I cover up the C, so I'm covering up the C, the C, the S, the C and the T, they represent my angles. So the cos of the angle, um, the sine of the angle, the tan of the angle. That's how they fit into these little grids. So the C is my angle. If I cover that up, what I am left with is I can say that the cos of the angle that is missing, so the cos of x, is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So the cos of x here would be 6 divided by 10. Now this has not solved my problem because I haven't got a value for my angle here. I only know what the cos of x is equal to. So the cos of x is equal to 6 over 10. So this is just a function and I need to undo this function. The way in which I'm going to do that is by doing the inverse of cos. So the inverse of cos is we write is cos to the minus 1 and then that's of 6 over 10. Okay, So now I can plug that into my calculator and that is going to give me a value for x. So let's do that. Um, so it's going to be the cos, the inverse of cos um, and that is 6 divided by 10 and that gives me a value of 53.13 we'll just call that 53 to the nearest one degree. So my angle for x is going to be 53 degrees. Um, let's take a look at the next one. First thing that we need to do, label up the triangle. We've got the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. We've got this side here, which is the opposite, because it is opposite where the angle is, and then the adjacent is the one that is touching the angle. We've got the O and the H. We know those two. So we're going to be using SO. And we're looking to find the angle. So I'm just going to be covering up the part of the grid that represents the angle, which is that S. So again, we can set up an equation here. We can set up the equation that sine X is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine X is equal to 5 over 12. We can then solve this equation by saying that x is equal to the sine, the inverse sine of 5 twelfths. And then we can simply plug that into our calculator and get a value for our angle. So this time it is sine of minus 1 um, and then 5 divided by 12. And so our angle for this one is going to be 24.62, which we will call 25 degrees to the nearest angle. So 25 degrees there. So that means that this angle here is going to be 25. Okay, um, next one. Let's label this up here. The side that's opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse. The side that is opposite where our angle is and then the side that's touching the angle, which is not the hypotenuse, is our adjacent. 
so we've got the opposite and the adjacent so we're going to be using tower so um, and we're looking to find the angle so we'd kind of cover up the T that T is representing the tan of the angle that we've got <clears throat> so what we can say is that the tan of our angle X is equal to the opposite um, divided by our adjacent which is 2 so what we could say is that X is equal to the um, inverse tan of 3 divided by 2 and let's type that into our calculator so tan of minus 1 3 divided by 2 and that gives us an angle of 56.3 so x is equal to 56.3 degrees uh, we'll just call that um, because angles are really small we like to give it to the nearest angle really um, you know point 0.1 of an angle is barely anything so we'll just call that 56 degrees okay last one to look at um, we need to first of all label up our triangle so here we have got the hypotenuse uh, this angle here is the opposite the angle that is the side that is touching the angle which is not the longest side is our adjacent so this time we are going to be using um, so again because we've got our O and we've got our H um, and so we're going to be looking at so so we're going to just cover up the S the S is representing um, the sign of the angle that we don't know so what we could say is that the sine of x the sine of x is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse then we can then go about solving this equation so at the moment we haven't got a value for our um, we haven't got a value for our angle so we solve the equation by doing the inverse of sine which is written as that so the inverse of sine um, uh, so it's the inverse of sine of 4 divided by 8 so type that into our calculator and that will give us a value for our angle so it's 4 divided by 8 and that gives us an answer of 30 so we can say that x is equal to 30 degrees um, so we can say that this angle here is 30 degrees